Hello Leo, welcome to your love reading for June 2021. Let's get started. As you can see, I've already shuffled and these cards have fallen out for you so we can go straight into it. The first card you've got from the Animal Angel deck is the Bat. And it says, see through illusion into truth. Okay, so what I'm picking up from this is that someone is seeing someone's true colors or is about to. Um, I actually get the energy of suspicion here, okay? I have to be honest. Um, there is a sense of uh, the mask coming off. Um, I'm getting two stories here. So um, for some of you, they're saying that uh, someone had a suspicion or a feeling about somebody that something was off or somebody wasn't being totally honest about something. Uh, someone was, uh, you know, in a, uh, wearing a, a mask, a, a facade of some sort, and something is now coming to light that will help someone to make a decision about whether to stay in invested in this relationship. They're also saying that it may not be romantic, it can also be um, something to do with work or platonic or somebody that you uh, were interested in at some point. But they're also saying somebody may have uh, heard something or found out something about somebody that is now making them think differently about that person. And there is a need for uh, truthful, honest communication. There's a need for the masks to come off. They're giving me an image now of two people sitting at a table, um, laying all their cards out, so to speak, and just laying everything out on the table and being honest about something. So truth is being uh, revealed, the masks are coming off. Um, the other sense that I'm getting is uh, more uh, light, more, more uh, yeah, a lighter type of energy. It's more, okay, they're saying uh, two people uh, getting closer to each other, meaning that uh, the illusions or the masks are, co are coming off in a sense where uh, two people are connecting more on a deeper level. Okay, they're, they're saying that some of you may be in a situation where you had something going with somebody where it was on a physical level or it was sort of non-committal. And there is this, okay, they're highlighting this summer. They're saying that there may be events that take place that um, make someone realize what that person means to them. Uh, there is a sense of something now uh, starting to, they're using the word rumble, stirrings of um, bonding or emotion, something that bonds you to the other person that sort of goes beyond the physical level. Like maybe you start to connect on an emotional level, on, a, on an intellectual level, on an intuitive level. Um, getting into the, yeah, because they're, <laughs> they're showing me an onion right now. So they're talking about sort of like peeling back the layers and seeing really the, the heart of that person or the truth of that person. So on one sense, I get that it's more like um, that information was, uh, with the first uh, storyline that I was getting, what they were giving me is that uh, information was being, was not being revealed. Um, uh, because somebody was wearing a mask and is yeah trying to hide something is what they're saying didn't want someone to know um but there's and and they're really giving me giving it to me in the sense that you need to know the whole picture before you make a decision because there may be crucial things that you don't necessarily vibe with you know um that that person is about it can be vice versa as well so there's a sense of um something happening that causes frustration or irritation or problematic in some way but I mean ultimately it's good because it forces two people to sit down and lay their cards on the table or at least it's it's sort of uh, creating a situation where you see somebody for who they really are and if that person is um, low vibrational for example then it of course it's good that you see that because then you can you can move on to something else right so that's the first one and then the second one is more like two people getting closer so you'll know by by resonance you know which which one you fall into okay normally I would pick three cards for the next deck uh, but they actually told me to just pick one so I'll just follow their instructions and see if they tell me to pick another one after this oh okay the next, the card we've got from the Mermaid deck is the Nine of Swords. Okay, I'm really picking up strong a strong feeling of uh, worry. Uh, someone 
pacing back and forth, someone going, okay, someone going over and over something in their mind. Um, they're using the word fallout. So maybe, maybe you've had a fallout with someone recently, or, um, maybe you they're saying stop talking maybe you you haven't been talking to somebody for a while um but there's just this sense of replay okay going over and over a scenario a situation a, a conversation and um feeling like you're in a position where you you are not able to make it right or you're not able it's 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 sort of like um they're using they're saying unresolvable <laughs> it's sort of like unresolvable if that's even a word okay they're also saying that something feels like it's too far gone. It can't be taken back. So, so by ver by the way I'm sensing this energy, I'm picking up that this is related to the first uh, storyline that I was getting about, you know, the masks coming off and uh, someone realizing something. Um, yeah, th because they're giving me the same energy of um, almost like a suspicion, like like a gut feeling, like or or a sense that. I know something's about to go down, like I know something's going to happen or, I, you know, I've been on edge for a while now or we've been on edge with each other and I know that very soon it's it's going to come out or there's going to be a conversation, I can't keep it in anymore um, or I know that when we go to this party that it's, it's, it's going to trigger a conversation between us. There's something um, that causes the, the conversation or the, 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 the subject to uh, come to light. Uh, and there is a strong sense here with this energy of like no going back. Um, it's like what's said is said or what's done is done. And, and that's what's causing the pain. They're showing me the wheel of fortune in my mind's eye. So they're wanting to tell you that um, when the wheel goes down, it will go up again at some point. They're, they're, they're giving me these sort of sayings of like, a, um, the, the, they're saying something like the sun will always rise again. Um, so they're, they're wanting to communicate that uh, even though it feels hopeless now, it will not be that way permanently. And when the emotional tidal waves pass and they calm down, then um, at a later point you will be able to see that uh, this happening and, and this uh, all of these emotions and things that peop someone kept to themselves or, or two people kept to themselves and it coming up was ultimately for the best, even if it felt a bit chaotic or a bit um, dramatic, because there is a feeling of being a bit on edge. It's, it's almost like two people who have maybe kept things from each other or just didn't say what they wanted to say or, you know, maybe somebody was unhappy about something and didn't didn't say anything and about the other person and something like that. But it's like it's it's it comes up and it comes out and it's a difficult um, situation to be in because it leaves you feeling like there's no going back. It's like, you know, so I, so there's a sense of um, uncertainty with this energy here that I'm getting of like, I, I don't know what the future holds now. Okay, so we're gonna pull another card on that and see if um, the guides can give more. Okay, let's see, we've got the Queen of Swords there. Objectivity see if they want to give another one they're highlighting the color blue because both cards here are blue for me so they're highlighting the color they're talking about communication and throat chakra here see again that it's good to speak your truth regardless because you want to live in truth you want to live in authenticity uh, not building something that's built on on untruths or half truths or or lies even um yeah there is a sense of uh rising above the situation when you're ready uh they're, they're also giving me a sense of being triumphant in this situation so it's almost like if at one point you felt victimized in some way that um you will you will come out um triumphant in this situation uh they're telling me that um whoever has been honest and truthful um, is the one that will prevail in this situation okay I never got that message type of message before but they are showing Leo that most likely and I'm guessing it's you here um, will will be able to rise above this situation it's like seeing seeing it for what it is seeing it for what it is and realizing that 
that it's better this way. Two of Wands. Starting, to, okay, I, I think that it, it seems like um, something is about to start again, like a new beginning. So I have to be honest, I am picking up for a lot of you, it's going to be that, that um, yeah, because they're saying again, no going back. So I, I'm seeing somebody start again, they're, because they're giving me with this energy with the two of wands about um, exploring other options, um, looking out now to... Um, the, the, the big world out there and sort of seeing, okay, well, here I go again. Um, let's see what life has to offer me. Oh, they're also highlighting decisions. So some of you may be undecided as well. They're also giving me that about what to do, which way to move forward or backwards. Some of you have decided to leave this person. Some of you are, are undecided. Let's see if we can get one more card. Any advice for the Leo Collective, please, regarding this situation? Three of Pentacles. Uh, focus on your career. Um, okay, there are also um, projects, work. If you've got good things going on in that area, keep it up because it will uh, help to balance your energy. Um, they're also highlighting support from the people around you. Don't be afraid to reach out to friends, family, co-workers, a therapist even. Just whatever you feel you need to do that's going to help you. Uh, Spirit is indicating that this is a time where you might feel you need to lean on some people right now. Um, so go for it. Do that because that will be beneficial to you. Okay, Leo, that's what I got. I hope it helps. Please like, share, comment and subscribe if you resonate with my work and all additional information will be down below in the description box. Thank you so much. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.